Hi, hello guys. Welcome to my sale tonight on Virtual Home Decor Marketplace. And give me just a second to pull up my video here and so I can see comments, hopefully. And let me mute it. Okay. <laughs> All right. So welcome to Virtual Home Decor Marketplace. This is the beginning of our Sunday evening sales here this evening. I am first up first tonight. So, I hope you guys have been able to see some of the previews. I've posted some on my page, and I've posted some here in the group, too. So, if you don't follow my page, if you want to follow me, you can find my link up at the top in the description. So, hello, guys. I see comments over here on my computer screen. So, I'm going to go ahead and get started. If you have any questions, let me know. Um, so, up first tonight is my first item. This is an old cheese box, a wooden cheese box. Um really good shape somebody used it as a little drawer um, but it's really good shape it's got all the writing um, still legible on it so I've decorated it up um, these items are all just placed in here so if you ever want to change your decor out you can it's just uh, laying in here um, it's got a clothespin some thread spools a little rusty star some pit berries and greenery oh and a little uh, a little plastic chicken egg so all right so if you are interested in this item it is number 179 it's $20 179 for $20 hello guys thank you for hopping on all right um let's see let me set that one down my next item this is an old grater it was a really neat uh grater it's got the the bigger holes on one side and the smaller ones on the others um this would be really neat as a um to put like a battery operated candle inside of it um, and let the light shine through it and be really cute on your kitchen counter or on your stove or something and I made a rag bow and then it's got a mess a metal star there so this is um, item number 143 and it is $18 143 for 18 dollars and it's pretty big I'm not sure exactly how big it is but it's bigger it's a little taller than my hand and of course my comments don't want to cooperate over here on my computer again this evening <laughs> so if I miss something I will go back and check those um at the end so all right next one all right I'll go ahead and do this one real quick so if you like bears I have this cute bear it's a little praying bear her name is I think it was Hope um and she has her original bow on it's kind of a gold color with some stars sparkly stars in it um, and she is number 145 and she is $12. 145 for $12. If you like bears, it'd be a cute um, addition to your bear collection. Okay. Next one tonight. I've got lots, I've got a few one of a kind things. Um, there's some things I might be able to recreate, but. Um, Mostly it's one of the one of a kind mostly mostly tonight. All right, next I have a set of uh, bead, beaded garland, black and white. It has the uh, jute tassels. It's sixty inches long, uh, so it's it's fairly long, and <clears throat> you can drape it across a mantle or a table, um, <clears throat> or drape it around in a dough bowl. It's number seventy and it's twelve dollars. This is my last one, so number seventy for twelve dollars. Hello, guys. Thank you for hopping on here and watching this evening. All right, next one. This is a um, an old muffin tin, and it's kind of in a primitive condition. Um, it's got some little dings and things like that here and there on it, but I did paint it black and made a tag and added some little uh, faux eggs in there. So, um, And then I added a hanger up here. You could hang it if you want to or be looking cute in the back of like a hutch or something like that so if you like this one it's number 133 for 22 dollars 133 for 22 all right let's see all right next I have a door hanger here let me measure it because I forgot to do that um the actual the actual wood part is 18 inches tall and this is all hand painted by me. So sweet summer. It's got some lemons and strawberries in there. And then I added a strawberry bow there at the top. Um, it has a wire hanger. 
And the uh, number for this one's 174. It's $28. 174 for $28. And it's only one of those that I've got. All right. Next up we have. All right. I've got a a wooden spoon and I painted it to look primitive, kind of sanded the edges up on it a little bit. Here's the back of it. And then I added some berries and a rag bow to it. It's number three, it's $10. And you could, um, if you have like a jar or something like that, you could always set it and display it this way or whichever way works for you with your decor. So number three for the spoon. And I have um, a wood block, a chunky wood block that I painted. Uh, so this is a mushroom, little couple mushroom sets that I um, hand painted on here. And then I put a matching rag bow on it. It's number 178 and it's $12. Oh, thanks, Amy. 178 for $12 for the mushroom block. Okay. And I still have some B sets available. I have... I ordered several of these, so um, these are great to put in your uh, mason jars or um, other little, like little vases or something. If you have like a little jar for your tier trays or your counters, or if you have little plants um, that you'd like to put these in, you can. The bees are wooden. Then they have wire wings, and they are. You get a set of two. You get um, both of them for number one thirty-four, and they're eight dollars for the set. And be a cute little addition to a gift. Um, if you have a little gift basket for somebody, you could just poke these down in it. So one thirty-four for eight dollars. Okay. We'll do this one next. Okay, this is a an old vintage pot that I've painted on. And on this side, it has um, a Highland cow. It's got some daisies. And then I painted the other side as well. It's got some daisies on that side. And then I painted, um, I didn't paint the lid. I put a bow. I put a bow with, um, a rag bow with a metal star. And here's the inside of it. This would be a cute um, plate piece to store items in. Um, or you could take the lid off and set a flower pot in there. Use it as a gift basket for Mother's Day for somebody. So this one is number 121 for 34. 121 for 34. I told y'all I'd have some more cow stuff. This is the only one I was able to get done this week. So I'm going to try to get some more cow stuff done for my next sale. <laughs> All right. And then. Oh, no problem, Lynn. All right. Next up, this is an old oil can. The top is the original collar. I did paint the bottom, so it's got a dark blue background, and then it's got hand-painted stars on it, and it's got a rusty bell, and it is sealed with like a glittery um, sealer, so it's real pretty and sparkly, um, but it doesn't rub off. So it's number 188, and it's $20. 188 for 20 All right, this candle lamp, a little flicker candle. Um, it's a real cute piece to put in a little, um, like if you have like a little cabinet or something where you have a place where you can plug something up. Um, this is, it comes with the bowl and I have two available. They are $12, number 136. And I have two of these available. And the actual candle lamp itself is five inches, then plus the height of the bowl. Next, I have this set of pots. This is a vintage set of metal pots. Um, you could store something in it or just have it for decor, or put it on a cabinet or top of your um, tables or something. So I hand, it's all hand painted all the way around. The stars are hand painted, the stripes are all hand painted. And then it is sealed, it's got that sparkly glaze on it. And here is the lid. I added a bow. I did seal the lid as well. Um, this part comes off also. So if you wanted, you could use it and hide some 
stash some things in there and hide them. It's number 165. It's $30. 165 for $30. And then I love this coffee pot. I think it's so pretty. Um, if you have vintage items in your kitchen, I did paint a chicken on the one side of it. And the other side is plain. So you can switch it around for whatever season or, or mood that you are doing for your decor. It's $135 and it is uh, $26. And it's got the original glass knob there up in the top. And I have, this is, yeah, stash your, stash your little secret um, things you don't want people to find in that. <laughs> or even your little snacks. All right, this is an 18-inch tree. This is an everyday skinny pine tree. It's got the black and white um, homespun bows. And then I added some raffia to it. These are just tied on. So if you ever want to change them, take them off, you can. It's number 172 and it is $18. $172 for $18. And you can bend and move and play around and you can move the top around and play with it however you want to. Okay. I have my one, I think this is my last mushroom. Um, it's got the yellow top and it's kind of like a, like the resin kind of material for the stem. And then it's got these real pretty clear beads on it. It's number 137. It's $8. Would look really cute. Um, it would be good for summer and spring. So 137 for $8. My last mushroom. All right. I'm going to show you a little bit of these. And then I will go back to some more other decor. So these are lotion bars. These are handmade. Um, they're made locally to me. They're um, hand poured. They look like, this is what they look like. They come in a, in a little metal tin like this. And um, so this particular scent here is lemon meringue. So if you're interested in one of these, let me know. Uh, it's a two ounce um, size. And the lemon meringue is $1.91. It's $10. I have a whole graphic with all the scents that you can get these in on my page. If you follow my page, Charm Southern Home, up there at the top. Um, it's in the featured section at the top of my page. You can find that and pick out any other colors that you would like. Um, you just take it and you just rub, you just rub it wherever you want um, lotion at. You just rub it. And it's really it smells great and it feels really good. So that was the lemon meringue one. Um, I also have black raspberry vanilla, so if you would like black raspberry vanilla. And um, I can get as many of these as you want to. They're $10. I don't know if I told you that, but they're $10 each. Um, so those are all local to me. And um, let's see, here is, here's a few of the other scents if you would like any of these. Waffle cone is $3.11. Toasted marshmallow, three fifty-two. Candy apple is three ninety-nine. Okay, and then on this one, on this one is um, iced mocha latte is four twenty-two. And um, check out that graphic. There may be some. I'm sure I've missed some, but if you go to that, you can find everything that's available. Okay. Next up. I have a couple of old uh, doorknobs. I didn't do anything with them. Um, they're cute to decorate just as is, just to have them set on a table. Um, this particular one is number 200 and it's $10. They're kind of, you know, they're old. They got the that white to them, kind of like, um, I don't know if this one's glass. It might be glass. Um, number 200 for $10 for that one. And I love this one. You can see the pattern in it. Can y'all see that pattern in that? It was really pretty. Um, so this one is number 195 and it's $10. 195 for 10. Okay, let's see. Oops. Candle rings. All right, so the, these are um, poppy 
handle rings, um, or you can use it just as a small wreath. They've got kind of a red, white, and blue flowers on them. You can set a candle or just about anything in there. You could even take like a little birdhouse or something and set in the center of it. It's number 187. These are $10. I have a couple available. If you need more than one, let me know. I do have a couple available, um, but they're little poppy flowers on here. Okay. If you're doing some entertaining, I have a basket for you this evening. This is a longer burger basket. It's um, like a small entertainment basket, I think is what it was called. It's dated from 2011. 2011. Um, it has a handle on both sides that has a little leather strap on it. It will fit. Um, I measured and the inside looks like it would fit either an 8x8 or a 9x9 pan. Or you could use it to put silverware in. Um, whatever you need. So this is number 103, it's $28. 103 for 28 is really, um, really pretty basket. Okay, and then here's the bottom. And then there's the inside. And if you have any questions on that, let me know. I'm always happy to send you a picture if you need a picture of it. All right, and while you're entertaining, I have a cute set of salt and pepper shakers. These are onion shaped um, salt and pepper shakers and they are number 122. They're five dollars for this set. So 122 for five dollars. I don't think they had any. Yep, there is one small chip on it. I couldn't remember where it was at. Um, where'd it go? Right here. There is a small chip on the very tip of it right there. But um, it's hardly, it's hard to find. All right, so those were $122 for $5. Okay, I got some metal barn stars. These are 12 inches across from tip to tip. And they have a hole you can use to hang it if you want. Um, the rust pattern varies on them, um, but they're pretty all much all kind of similar to this. These are number 193, and they are $10. 193 for 10. I have, mm, I think I have two. So. All right. And then. I'm going to use my basket so I can show you this. All right. So these are a set of salt and pepper shakers, but you're going to get four pieces. You're going to get two of these big ones. And then you're going to get two of these little ones. These are little tomatoes. So you're going to get all four, all four of the uh, salt and pepper shakers. And they are number 160. They're $12 for all four uh, pieces. Okay. All right. I have a couple more things for your kitchen. I have a potato masher that has the still has the chippy um, original wood paint on the um, top of it. It's number 192 for $12. 192 for 12. Okay. I have a hand mixer. This one has a metal turn handle, but the handle at the top is the original wood. And it is in really good shape. It's, I don't think there's even any chips on there. <clears throat> it's number 108 and it's $14. It's got some pit berries and homespun bow on there. And I have a metal colander. It's got the circle pattern inside of it. I added some pit berries, homespun bow on it. It's number 151 for 18. Okay. And then I've got these cute signs. You can attach them to a wreath. You can use them as is. I've got one of each available. Um, this is the bear one, the patriotic bear. He's number 142. He's $13. 142 for 13. And then I also have a really pretty cardinal. It almost looks like a stained glass window. 
Um, it does have a spot up at the bottom and at the top so you can fasten it to a wreath. Okay, and that's number 120 for 13. All right. If you need a gift for a guy, I have these. These are beard balm. These are also handmade. This one is, um, it's a scent, scented for a guy. It's all hand poured. You get three ounces in these. So this is a little bigger than the lotion bars. Um, so if you in, need a gift for a guy, beard balm, they are $12. Number 173. This one's called the West Virginian. Okay. I'm going to show you a couple of these. I'm going to try to skip around a little bit. All right. I have some handmade soap. These um, are limited because it takes several weeks for these to cure. So if I run out, um, it would be a little bit before I could get them back in again. So this one's the Black Raspberry Vanilla. So if you've um, had the lotion bars, these are um, the same scent as the lotion bars in the Black Raspberry Vanilla. Um, these are, how many ounces? I don't know. I don't remember how many ounces they are, but anyway, um, these are number 176. These are $12 a piece, or you can get two for 20. So there is black raspberry vanilla. Then I also have this one. It is, um, got little pink quartz stones on the top of it. You can take those off and, and keep those, um, and save those for later whenever you use it. And here's what it looks like. And this one's number 114, 114 for that one. And this one is really cute. This one is called Waffle Cone. It's got the little pieces that look like Waffle Cone. It's a really pretty design in there. And it is number 55. And these are $12 each or two for 20. And you can mix and match too. And then one more candied apples. So if you want it to um, get a set to match with the lotion bar, this is the candy apple scented soap, and it is number 168. $12 each or two for 20, and you can mix and match. All right, what else have I got today? Um, I have a sign, a farm sign that I've painted. It's, I just made it kind of distressed, and then it's got the raised lettering on there that says farm. I only have the one. It's number 119. It is $10. 119 for $10 for the farm sign. And it is eight inches, eight inches wide. I have another candle ring for you this evening. This one's got pink and white flowers. You can use it as a little wreath, or you can use it as a candle ring, set it on a table. Um, you could put a lantern or candle in there. Lots of different things. You could even set like a small picture frame in there if you wanted to. It's number 126. It's $16, and I have, I think, two or three of these left. So, 126 for $16. Out of this my cotton ball I have one cotton ball available you can put it in a dough bowl set it in a tray on a table or you can hang it it has a, a little jute hanger on there it's number 102 it's eight dollars 102 for eight hmm. okay all right I'm going to show you this and these are going to be all separate um, actually Yes, these are all separate. I've got prices for these for all separate. So I have this cute um, scale. This would be really pretty on your counter or if you have a kitchen island. Uh, so it's the original uh, paint on here, metal green scale. So let me show you each piece here. So this piece I have on the top is um, a candle, timer candle, Bless This Home. It's number 14 
or I mean fourteen dollars, number one twenty nine. And then also have I have these um, lamb's ear candle rings. Those are really pretty. These are number 116 for $14. And I do have more than one if you need more than one. And then, if you would like the scale, the top piece here is plastic. The rest of the um, scale is metal. And it is number 175 and it's $24. 175 for 24 So let me know if you would like any of those. Okay. Then I have another set here that you could use on a table. My time is just about up already. If there's anything you'd like me to show again, let me know real quick, and I'll try to do it again. Uh, so this one is going to be a set. You're going to get the sign. It says, Be Kind to Yourself, and you're also going to get the wood uh, bead garland with it. And it's number 198 and it's $12. And I did put a bow and some flowers up there on the top of the sign. 198 for $12. Okay. And let's see. I have a couple of old books. I don't know if I'll get to show them all, but I have here's one of them. It's just an old school book. This one is from the 30s. It's got a rusty bell. I, I tied some greenery and pit berries on there. It's number 155. It's $8. 155 for $8. All right, another one. This one is called Wheels and Wings. And here's the back. This one's also from the 30s. It's number 199. $8. And then this one's the last one here. This one's Oliver Twist. I think this one was from the 50s. Here's the back of it. This one's number 169. And it's $8. Oh man, who's after me? I always I always look to see who's after me. And wouldn't you know, today I forgot to do that. <laughs> So let me try to see if I can find that. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. Um, if you would like to um, um, follow my page, Charm Southern Home, it's up there at the very top of the uh, group. I did find it here. So after me is going to be Creations by Griffin. So Roxana will be up here after me in about two minutes. If you guys um, have anything that you wanted me to show again, let me know. Um, I have an, like a minute or so here. I can, I can still show something if you have anything. Um, the only cow item that I had tonight was this one. I'm not sure if anybody claimed it or not, but um, I have this vintage pot that I have a Highland cow painted on. It's all hand painted, and then it has daisies. Um, it would look cute. Even take the lid off and put the uh, put a flower. Uh, potted plant or something in there or you could use it to store items like in your bathroom or something like that it's number 121 it was 34 dollars 121 for 34 so it is an old pot looks like it was well used i'll try to have more cow things next time i ran out of time this week we had company and um i didn't get to do as many things as i thought i would so all right, up next is Creations by Griffin. Be sure you refresh your page and she will pop right up. If you have any questions, let me know. Be sure you leave me your email and your zip code if you placed an order so that I can send your invoice. And I will see you guys again very soon. Bye, everybody.